Hey, I wore a hoodie. I wore a hoodie one day like a Muslim, right? Because <laughs> I got Muslim friends. I wore a hoodie one day like a Muslim. And they said, what's wrong with Chandler? He's not like himself. He need to see a psychiatrist. We got to get him on pills. <laughs> How you doing? No more dirty looks? No more dirty looks, neighbor? No more dirty looks? Oh. That's what I thought. You all right? Yeah, you want to see me? This is NFL DN Chandler Jones. Come have, a, come have a bowl of gumbo with me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, that's what I thought. Go ahead. Go on, go ahead. I'm protecting I'm protecting this neighborhood. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, sir. But we can have some gumbo at my house if you want. Wait, they don't know what happened with Aaron Hernandez and Josh McDaniels. All right, y'all. Y'all thought Chico killed himself in jail? Y'all thought my Chico killed himself in jail? Oh. <laughs> oh. Displaying troubling behavior on his social media. We're gonna clean them vibes out. Let's clean the vibes, Black. Let's clean the vibes, Black. <laughs> Let's clean the vibes, Black. No more bad vibes. No more bad vibes. No more bad vibes. No more locked doors. In another piece of video, it appears Jones is burning blankets with plastic still around it. I'm not even gonna talk about them boys. Look at them bad vibes. In a screen grab posted by Raiders Reports, Mitchell Renz, Jones's tweets appear unhinged. He asked Elon Musk why his page wasn't taken down and wish Kanye West would show up at his doorstep. He'd add in another tweet, he is only protected by Navy SEALs. In posts on his socials, he would write, F it, I don't want to play for the Raiders. If that's my head coach or GM, I want Patrick Graham, Ivy League N-word. In another, he said, they won't let me in the building trying to poke an N-word. And they had direct contact to my BM and we ain't been together for five years. Some lady reporting to her about how I was at work when I don't even talk to her about work or anything person, like how you know my BM provoked. In another series of tweets, he wrote, now you're taking my money out of my pocket. Here I am watching my team lose because someone was touching my goddaughter. That's why I couldn't get a sack today because people wanted to R word my stepdaughter and not expect me to get upset. I'm single with no kids, but me and this man had an agreement. Mark, we believe as in Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders, didn't know about. Now he's paying for it. MD, Mark Davis, didn't know I didn't have any kids, and I was fostering a very important man's kid. I won't say his name, but once I found out what was done to this little girl, I wasn't allowed back in the building. That was on September 17th. On the 26th, Jones posted again saying he was sent to a mental hospital against his will. He's been away from the team since Labor Day. I haven't done anything wrong. The police said people were concerned about me because of my posts online, he wrote, adding that once in an ambulance, he was injected with an undisclosed substance even though he didn't give consent, wrote ESPN. The Raiders have declined comment. In addition to his tweets, there were odd claims like him saying, I think it's these owners. I don't know what's going on. Larry, whatever blank he got going on, he's being controlled by somebody. And I think whenever blank retire, Larry, Tom Brady, Kobe Bryant, whenever they retire from what they are doing, something happens to them somehow. On September 29th, Jones will be arrested per ESPN for allegedly violating a domestic violence temporary protective order and was being held on $15,000 bail, according to jail records. Jones posted bond later Friday. He's due back in court December 4th. On September 30th, the Raiders would release Chandler Jones.